Welcome back to The Ed Show. In my playbook tonight, Republicans should be looking at their all-time hero before they accuse President Obama of class warfare. Watch this comparison of President Obama and President Ronald Reagan put together by Think Progress. And that's why this plan eliminates tax loopholes that primarily go to the wealthiest taxpayers and biggest corporations. We're going to close the unproductive tax loopholes that allow some of the truly wealthy to avoid paying their fair share. In theory, some of those loopholes were understandable, but in practice, they sometimes made it possible for millionaires to pay nothing. But a bus driver was paying 10% of his salary, and that's crazy. Middle class families shouldn't pay higher taxes than millionaires and billionaires. Do you think the millionaire ought to pay more in taxes than the bus driver or less? <laughs> Warren Buffett's secretary shouldn't pay a higher tax rate than Warren Buffett. So what do you think? Pretty close? And that's not all. In another speech later in the same year in Chicago, Illinois, Ronald Reagan dared to compare the tax rate of workers in big corporations. The result is that workers sometimes find themselves paying higher taxes than the giant corporations they work for. And hardworking families have to struggle under a growing tax burden while the special interests get a free ride. Hmm. You're a Reagan fan? Taken down the picture yet? And in the same speech, Reagan described a letter he had received. An executive who's earning in six figures, well above $100,000 a year. He wrote me in support of the tax plan because he said, I am legally able to take advantage of the present tax code, nothing dishonest, doing what the law prescribes, and wind up paying a smaller salary than my secretary gets. Or, I mean, paying a small, I'm sorry, paying a smaller tax than my secretary pays. Well, Reagan messed up that line a little bit, but the message is clear. He didn't think a secretary should be paying a higher tax rate than her boss, who makes a much higher income. Until now, we've been calling it the Buffett rule. But we should be calling it the Reagan rule. And we will. Coming up, the Wall Street protests have reached a new level and are literally spreading across the country. The president of the United Steelworkers of America, Leo Gerard, joins me to talk about why this movement is so important. Stay with us.